Hi guys, welcome back. Hi guys, welcome back and hello if you are new. My name is Sarah and I make a ton of gift guide videos just like this one throughout the whole entire year. My most popular videos on my channel are typically my holiday gift guides and my biggest one, what I got my kids for Christmas, is coming up. So I hope if you enjoy those types of videos that you stick around and subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't followed me already, you should follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I will have everything linked below. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. I'm so excited to share our Halloween boo baskets with you. So last year I actually started the boo baskets and with my girls I know some people give their kids boo baskets at the beginning of the spooky season to kind of get them in the excitement for Halloween and I know some people give them on Halloween um, last year with the pandemic we didn't go out trick-or-treating or go, any, go to any Halloween parties. We just had a Halloween party with my girls at home and it was one of the best Halloweens I've ever had and my girls have ever had. We had so much fun. So much so that they decided that they want to have another Halloween party this year instead of trick-or-treating. So again, we're sitting trick-or-treating out this year. Um, I probably would have done it, um, but they decided that they wanted to do the Halloween party instead and so that's what we're going to do, which I'm totally okay with. I had so much fun and they had so much fun. So this year, we're having another little Halloween party and I'm so excited to celebrate with them. So we decided to continue on with the tradition and do boo baskets. So last year I gave them their boo baskets on Halloween and they just had some trinkets and some goodies inside um, and I'm excited to share them with you. I know some people go all out for their boo baskets. I know some people go to Dollar Tree or they go like in the middle or what have you, whatever your budget per affix whatever your budget allows. Um, mine is kind of in the middle, I feel like. I found some stuff that I'm really excited for them. I didn't obviously want to go overboard because the holiday season is coming, but I did want to get them some fun things to have, um, and I'm excited to share them. So let's get started. Let's just hop on into it. I'm also wearing my Sanderson Sisters shirt that I got off Amazon. I love it. It's so freaking cute and it makes me so happy. The baskets that I actually use for their boot baskets are these little cheap plastic ones that I got from Target last year for a dollar. I do believe they have the exact same ones or something similar this year, but I mean, you can find plastic Halloween trick or treating baskets all over. Um, they're not really anything special, but they do have like nicer embroidered ones that my mom bought them when they were born, um, but they use those actually for the scavenger hunt. So last year, instead of trick-or-treating, what I decided to do was go on a candy scavenger hunt, and at the very end, their last clue led them to their boo baskets. And that's what I am um, gonna do this year. It worked really well last year, and they really, really loved it, and it was kind of a fun way also to like do some like educational type of things where they had to really use their mind and critically think um, based on what the clues were. So I think we're gonna that again this year it was so much fun and they really 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 loved it and it was fun to watch them so if you're looking for ideas again if you don't feel comfortable trick-or-treating this year with your little ones or want to do Halloween party or whatnot I recommend it it worked out really really well so um, they will have candy leading up to it that's why there's no candy actually in their boo baskets you won't see anything in here because we do candy outside of it I just haven't bought it yet um, and then their boot baskets will be filled so that is that. All right, so let's actually get started with what's in the boo baskets. So first things first, everything either came from Walmart or on Amazon. Um, Walmart stuff I bought all in store, and then Amazon obviously was all from Amazon online. And I think all of the stuff came same day or the next morning. So if you're watching this a little bit later, you should be totally able, and I know this is going up a little bit later than I would have liked, but you should still totally be able to get everything in enough time. First things first though is I got them some coloring books. My girls still love coloring, especially Ollie. It's her passion is art. Um, so I got them each a coloring book in the Walmart dollar spot. So Walmart actually has a dollar section now if you didn't know. I know some people don't have it in their Walmarts yet, but I think nationally just about all of the Walmarts are getting um, renovated. and. Ours has been, both of ours in my city has been renovated um, and their dollar section is right up in the front. Mine's close to the eyeglass area, eyeglasses area, but I know it depends on which Walmart you go to. Um, but it should be up at the front, kind of similar to how Target's is. So in that, they have some really great things, some hits and some misses. I feel like the misses are misses because they're really random objects or they're like overpriced for random reasons. Like I found the cutest pumpkin succulent faux succulent that I wanted to get this year was really small and at Walmart or at Target probably been one to three dollars and it 
uh, Walmart, it was five. So I feel like there's some kinks that they need to work out because I feel like the pricing is kind of off. Um, let me know if you agree with that. If you have one there at your Walmart, at, if you have Dollar Spot at your Walmart and you've noticed that. Um, anyway, but I did find a lot of their stuff in the boo section boo section the dollar section for the boo baskets and two of those items are their coloring books so Eleanor is still super into my little pony and these were only a dollar so it was a hit and then olives um, if you know you know but olive is obsessed with rainbow high it's what she still wants for Christmas she asked for them all last year and she wants even more this year she loves it and it's fun to see her super excited about things I feel like she's getting older she's just not as like kiddish and it's so hard for me so I indulge it <laughs> anyway I found this and I'm excited to see more of like the character kind of stuff come out into more things like coloring books and like character items and stuff that aren't just toys so anyway I found this and she's going to be so excited um, to go along with that, I each got them a book. I always get books for just about every gift giving holiday I love to read. Always want them to want to read. Um, so for Eleanor, I found this Pinkalicious book on Amazon for a couple of dollars. We love Pinkalicious. We love all of the books and the PBS show, super adorable. And so I got her the Halloween one. Um, and it also comes with a bunch of different stickers, which I know that she will love. So Pinkalicious for Eleanor. And then for Ollie, I got this one, which is the Lulu Goes to Witch school it's a reader one it definitely is more of an intermediate reader I would say um, it has a bit longer of paragraphs and sentences but I think she will be able to read it just fine at least if she is with me she's been really into wanting to read chapter books by herself lately so I think this is a good kind of like starter but the the illustrations are just adorable it's about a little witch who goes to school and it's just so cute so I love this I thought it was totally up Ollie's alley so I got this for a couple bucks off of Amazon as well Normally, I like to get uh, Christmas books kind of at the end of Halloween. Like, I'm not thinking Halloween anymore. Like, I wouldn't give them Halloween books on Halloween. But um, the elves will be coming soon enough, and I probably will have them deliver some Christmas books. And so we're just going to add to our Halloween collection. So I did decide to get Halloween books this year. Okay, so um, one of the items that I got for each girl is that were kind of different, catering to more of like their individual needs, not just the exact same thing. Um, it's I only really did that with one set of things, but for Ollie, I got her this sketch diary. If you know, like I said, she's obsessed with art, and I found this one from Walmart. This is her first like bound, spiral bound one. I really liked this one because it has like a transparent like little flap in the front, and she loves like creating and then like displaying her art so this is the first thing that she's ever had that's kind of like a binder style where it has that like transparent cover so then she can like put her art in there and I just think she'll really like that idea so um this was only a couple dollars and it was nice it's like a pretty nice um sketchbook I normally get the pinning gear ones anyway so this worked out really well so that one is for Olive and then for Eleanor, she's obsessed with squishies. She's still obsessed with uh, plushies, specifically the Thai Beanie Boos, loves them to death. So I found like a mixture. Um, this one is the Amazing Squishy Plushies, and they are like a squishy in size. They're slow rising, but they look like a little Beanie Boo. Um, this was in the dollar spot at Walmart. This is was $3, and this is Believe. Um, it's just a cute little unicorn, which I thought was adorable. It's not scented. I wish it was. Some of them are scented. Um, but it's just really cute. This will add to her collection. She has a ridiculous amount of Beanie Boos, but she loves them. So, I mean, she plays with them literally all the time. And they bring her a lot of joy and comfort, so I'm okay with it. So I just got this little guy. He's cute. He's new. He's unique <laughs> to add to her collection. Um, to go with their coloring books, I each got them a new thing of, like, tools, utensils, pencils. Um... We go, we go through them all the time because they're constantly using them. So I got Ollie these Crazy Art Neon colored pencils. She's really into using colored pencils right now. And I just thought the neon ones were kind of fun, super inexpensive, obviously. And they were from Crazy Art. So they're not like, they're not any Prismacolors or anything, but she'll still really like them. And then for Ollie, these were on, or Ellie, these were on clearance um, at Walmart for like a dollar or something. And these are Bit Kids. Um, these are new, they're ultra washable 
markers. I just thought they were kind of fun. I feel like as a kid, markers were, were really exciting to use. Even more like if they weren't like the Crayola ones, because you knew those were kind of like the kid markers. But if you could use a marker that like felt like a teacher marker or like an adult marker, it felt really cool. I don't know, was that only me? Um, but I just thought these were cute. So, I mean, they're not scented. They are pretty basic, but we'll see how they work. But I just thought they were kind of different and fun. Oh, it says that this is a resistant tip, so it won't like get all crumbly and these can last up to one week with the cap off which is kind of shocking and it's nice because my kids are notorious for leaving cap off markers so that's pretty cool anyway i just got these i don't know if they've been discontinued or what but like i said i got them for a dollar or so at walmart they do have crayons color pencils and a big combo pack so yeah. we will see we will see all right moving on um i i I know I'm gonna regret this so much, but this, I just, ugh, slime. I don't know. I freaking try to find slime that has like good reviews and I literally feel like I can never find it, ever. I feel like every review for slime that's like pre-purchased is just always bad. Um, but the best one, best reviewed ones I can find are the Elmer's one, which makes sense. I mean, why would they not capitalize off of like, they make the glue that so many people use for slime. It's just brilliant to make your own slime line. Anyway, but I did find um, th this glue at Walmart. I was gonna get them the individual ones from Elmer's, but I found these um, on clearance for $5 for both both of them. So I thought that was an awesome deal. There's Party Llama and Oh Dear. They're both scented. They both have different things in them. I don't know who gets what yet, um, but you know, again, I feel like I'm gonna, thoroughly regret this but Eleanor loves slime especially she loves anything sensory and I feel like my kids have gotten older where they're a lot better at least with slime and I feel like they're they keep it to a centralized location versus it getting everywhere so fingers crossed this isn't the worst decision ever but if it goes well then we can look into more but this will be kind of like a, a tester so they were like glued onto the bottom of these like that's fun. Anyway, um, this was Party Llama, and it has a bunch of those like crunchy beads in it. Um, let's see how it smells. It smells like vanilla. It smells nice. That one's not bad. I don't know the texture, but we're going with it. I think this will probably be for Eleanor. This just screams Eleanor to me. And then Ollie will get the Oh Dear, which screams Ollie to me. And there's like a bunch of like spiralized confetti or something in it and this one it looks like it smells like strawberries yeah that one smells good too hopefully hopefully these were good purchases <laughs> but even if it wasn't i feel like five dollars for two of those big jars was a pretty decent decent buy all right move it on um, I decided to get them each a bath bomb. These were from Amazon. Um, I These had pretty good reviews. There's a spooky surprise inside. I think there's like a little toy or something inside. I wish that they had different colors and scents. I mean, they do for different things, but these are the only Halloween versions ones that they had. Um, but I believe there's like a bat or ghost or something inside, which is fun for kids. They're handmade. They're made in the USA, cruelty-free, vegan, and phthalate-free, which is really nice. So, um... They are very strongly scented, and these things are sealed. So I, it's probably going to be very um, powerful when we use them. They're citrus potion scent, and boy, boy, um, if you are pregnant, I can imagine you not wanting to be around this. I would, I get super sensitive when I'm pregnant to smells. I can't even, I can't even imagine it. Anyway, long story short, though, is they both have them. So hopefully it goes well, and they like it, and you know. It's a bath bomb. What kid doesn't like bath bombs? Anyway, um, last, second to lastly, they have been obsessed with painting their nails again lately. We go through phases again, and but lately it's been all I like to do, and they like we do it like about once a week. We all just sit down and have a. I'm halfway done <laughs> with mine. Um, you gotta actually repaint them, but they enjoy it a lot, and so I got them each a nail polish. These are from the LA Girl Color Craze line. They were like a um, display near the dollar section in Walmart, so I got Eleanor this. It's like a 
just highlighter yellow, so fluorescent. Um, I'm sure the opacity is terrible, but we'll go with it. And it is in the color Day Glow. And then for Ollie, I got this one, which is... Um, I had it said glows in the dark, but it says glows in black light. And so I think it'd be really fun if I got a black eye, black light for their dance party on Halloween. And then like her nails were all lighting up and glowing. I think that would be so fun. This was in the color Fallen Angel. So I'm giving both of those. Each of them gets a nail polish. And then last but not least, I only gave them one toy because it's about to be the holiday season. And they don't need more than one toy. Um, and I got them each a new LOL doll, the little sisters. These are from the movie Magic Line. They go back and forth with their opinions with LOLs. I feel like they change all the time, but lately they're super into them, especially the little sisters because of the movie that just came out on Netflix. Um, and they've really liked them and they've been playing all the time with them. So I decided to each get them a LOL. I don't plan on really investing in a lot of LOL themed items and toys for the holidays. So this is about the only ones they're gonna get for at least right now. Um, and if they get the same one, I hope it doesn't happen, but then they have twins, it'll be fine. But uh, I just got them one of these and I'm sure they'll be excited, but that is really the only toy item that I got. And all right, that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some good ideas. And like I said, everything should be able to get um, to you in plenty of time before Halloween if you go to Walmart or shop on Amazon. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I gave you some good ideas. Like I said, this was my first boob basket video to actually film. Last year was my first boob basket to actually do, but I didn't end up posting it. Um, so I do hope you guys enjoyed this. It was fun for me. I, again, love gift guide videos. It just gets me so excited. And it's just like amping up for my holiday gift guides, which I know so many of you guys are looking forward to. You guys have already messaged me so many times and are so pumped for them. And I am too. I cannot wait. And um, yeah, so that is it. If you guys want to keep in touch and keep an eye out for those gift guides, you should subscribe down below. And if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram. Like I said, it'd be so fun to have you there too. That's where I communicate, I feel like, the most with you guys is through DMs and um messaging and stuff on Instagram. So if that is your thing, you should be there too. All right, that is it for this video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.